You see, Pharaoh thought that the Israelites were lost. To him, it looked like they were just wandering around. And to the Israelites, it probably felt that way. It probably felt like you and me, that at one point, God had just abandoned them. But what we learn in verse 4 is that seeming lost was actually part of God's plan the whole time. You see, what we learn is that in the wilderness, God didn't lose the Israelites. But in the wilderness, God was just getting ready to use the Israelites. And let me tell you something. Our God has an incredible track record for taking people who think that they are lost and using them to do incredible things. Earlier on in the Bible, we read about a guy named Joseph. Joseph was sold by his brothers and ended up in prison. But for those of you who know the story, you know that God didn't lose Joseph in that prison. He was just getting ready to use Joseph in Egypt. There's a prophet by the name of Jonah. Jonah, he received a calling from God. And then he ran away from that calling and ended up in the belly of a fish. But God didn't lose Jonah in the belly of that fish, did he? No, no, no. He just sent him there to cook for a while to get him ready to be used by God out of the belly. And even Jesus, 2,000 years ago when Jesus was hung on a cross and buried in a tomb, I want you to know that Jesus did not lose to death. Jesus was just getting ready to use death. When he robbed it of, his po- of its power three days later when he rose from the grave. You see, what I want you to know if you're in here this morning and you are feeling lost, if you're feeling confused, if you're perhaps even feeling like you've been abandoned by God, I hope you're beginning to see. And I want you to consider for a second, what if God didn't lose you? But what if God is just getting ready to use you?